Welcome to another episode of 72 Pin Connector. And for another episode, I mean... Two. Yes, 52. Yeah! <laughs> so, uh, with us this week, we once again have Adam. I'm here, in the place, in, in, in the in, thing. In, in person, like right there. Yeah, he's right there. I'm not a hologram. Yeah. We could throw beer bottles here. at him. Yeah, he's don't do right that. Yeah. Don't do it. <laughs> um, we have Tom. Yes. It's also right there, but not as much that's going to be. Right, right there. He's, I'm, it's, it's yeah. Tom, so. I'm, I'm always here. Nobody, yeah. nobody actually cares. <laughs> they actually talked me into coming. And we have, still remote, sadly, Josh. Hello. How you I'm doing, over Josh? here. We wish you were here. <laughs> we do. I know. I wish I was And not there just too. the Pink Floyd back. song. Right. Nice. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> oh. How was y'all? Actually, Adam. Yeah. How was your flights? The flights were fine. Uh, just fine? Yeah, just fine. Um, I, I didn't get, I didn't have to sit next to a talker. So oh, that's everybody good. Everybody pretty much just ignored everybody else. Nice. Um, First flight was to Chicago, connecting flight, and I didn't, I didn't get a chance to eat in Chicago this time. No, I know. As, as soon as by the time I got landed, I had to change terminals. It was forever walk. By the time I got there, they were just about to start boarding, and I was, like, eh, I don't have time. To grab food. Um, then the second flight was kind of long. It was uh, my ass hurt after a while sitting there in those uncomfortable <laughs> United <laughs> seats. But hey, um, you didn't get punched. No, I didn't. That's no. that's kind of a benefit. That's good because I forgot to bring yeah. my boxing gloves on my carry on. Oh, so you can't I do that. Those. You've and, always got to keep. And you know boxing. what? They might assault their uh, passengers, but they've got snack time. So good. Most places, oh, here's some shitty little pretzels or Chex Mix thing, <laughs> and they're like, all right, all here's right. two stro uh, strobe waffles. Those uh, little caramel Car strobe waffle cookie. Things that no I had strobe waffles. They gave you those? Yeah, on the flight. No that was shit. our snack. Like, you want a yeah. snack? And I'm like, and I saw what he had. And I'm just, yeah, he gave me two of them. I thought. And you then had I had a coffee. I so thought I, you had brought that. Oh, that was that was the that was the here's your free snack on United Airlines. That is pretty legit. Yeah. So oh, I complained a little. They're kind of ginger. Oh yeah, I those are so good. I've had those. Those are. It's almost like a. Hmm. They are really good. I usually opt for pretzels, though, because I'm a salty guy more than a sweet guy. As you can tell from one year of podcasting, Whoa. I am super so, salty. So, yeah, let's talk about, about this, this 52 thing. It's not 72. Why do we care? Because uh, <laughs> we've been casting about a year now. This is the, this is the last cast in year one. Yeah, th this, this marks, marks a full, full year of podcasting. Year. Yes. The fact that we did this, me. I can't believe we've been going this long. Iteration long of continuous yeah. 72, 72 that I know of. Yeah. Um, yeah, that would be accurate. Um, this is definitely the longest iteration of 72 pin connector. The first one, I want to say, lasted for ish, if I remember correctly. The second iteration lasted for about. Oh, it was a little sucks. longer than that because the second one did something I want to do again. Oh, we will that? do this. The one. drunk cast? No. Um, <laughs> we had a video game draft. Oh. A video game draft? Oh, yeah, what do you mean? We did. Yeah, how does that work? Like, we, you take certain genres and we go around and it's not at a time. Like, you have to get an FPS, yes. you have to get a strategy, you have to get a shooter, you have to get an adventure game. And the goal is we all pick one after the other, one at a time. And to see who can get the best lineup of games when it's all said and done. How do like, you? That's I mean, that's how do you? It, it's, subjective, it's subjective, but when you look at it, eventually someone, someone will, will come away play. kind of better, better than the others. Yeah, because like, absolutely. Like let's say someone chooses a shooter like CS:GO right away. That's a bad one to do because there's actually a really good amount of good shooters out there. Mm. Yeah. Whereas, Whereas if you're going strictly adventure games, you might go Night Quest or um, uh, Walking Dead, Dead Season Dead. One. Walk. And you're going to run away right, because right, there's not a whole lot of grade A adventure game. Mm. So, so, I mean, there's that kind that. of strat. Wouldn't you consider Breath of the Wild an adventure game, kind of? That's like That's an like action I, adventure. I would count that as an adventure game. I, I think any game where you're legitimately 
going on an adventure would be an adventure. <laughs> Not, yeah. like, like, that sounds, there's, that sounds there's, right. There's really, Tom. That's, action adventure, that's like, like Uncharted. Yeah. Is, I would say more action than adventure. Uh, okay. But I wouldn't say Breath of the Wild is more action. It's more adventure than action. Okay. Kind of where that falls. So if you weren't killing people at all in that game, it would just be as enjoyable? Because I don't think it would be. I think the um, action... It probably wouldn't be. The action part of Zelda is what makes it. Especially Breath of the Wild. Breath of the Wild, there was no story. It, it's an it's an adventure game. <laughs> it's it's absolutely it's an RPG. I mean RPGs. It's it's hard to say. Like it, it's an adventure. You're on an adventure. If you can walk out, if you could load up the game and say, "I'm going on an adventure," then it's an adventure. <laughs> <laughs> so so what about Grand Theft Auto? Is that an adventure game then? Yeah, it depends on what you're doing. Yeah, um, but absolutely. I don't know. It is. It is in a way. Kind of, yeah. It's a it's a RPG. Yeah. Well, oh, yeah, you know, yeah. I mean, I- adventure is kind of a weird term to use because it kind of like it has that uh, that you know old timey feel. I don't know, what's the what's the right word for that? Like uh, you know, elves and dwarves and stuff. Medieval right. feel. That's the yeah. one. It, it feels very medieval. So you're really just saying like. Uh, what medieval RPG do you like? Is really what you're thinking. So, like, you'd think adventure is more of a Skyrim, right? I, uh, I have never. Well, I'm not gonna say never. I have very rarely played medieval games set in like the old timey era mm-hmm. that weren't RPGs. Because, like, The Witcher yeah. is kind of an action adventure game, but it's more an RPG. That's true. I haven't played what about that, that uh, FPS settings. one? The uh, what about that one? What is it called? We have a bunch of friends that are, who are super into it. Uh, FPS Counter Strike. <laughs> it's Rocket it's, League. The, it's the Counter Strike of that. Uh, okay. Crap! I'll have to look back into that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, chivalry! Chivalry! There we go. Oh, oh chivalry. chivalry! Yeah. Oh, really? our yeah. good friend chivalry Maldini. Also. Our good <laughs> yeah. friend Maldini was like top. Totally forgot like, about that. He was destroyed in chivalry that's where his name comes from because all it's the giant clumsy hammer he'd use oh and those people have you ever seen like good chivalry players and the stuff they do with the mechanics in that no game? i haven't it's insane they're doing stuff where they're because it's so mechanics based they're doing stuff where they're hitting people like on the backswing by like swinging and then turning their view to be backwards from their opponent so that you're hitting them with the backswing of the weapon and then bring it. Oh, and they're, they're doing stuff where you scroll the look versus when you attack to hit certain spots. Like, okay. you can delay when you hit with your timing by looking, um, like looking away as you swing so that it takes longer for the, the hit to actually make contact. Or if you go to swing and then you look in the direction that the thing would be swinging, you would hit them sooner. So there's a whole lot of timing involved and stuff. So the people that are like really good at that game are really good at that game. So you have it's true. Out speed. Go through stuff like front. that. Yeah, there's a lot of like looking in combination with whatever directional attacks you're doing to affect everything. It's crazy. There's a, there's actually a lot of games like that, like mm-hmm. your Mountain Blade, uh, War of Roses, stuff like that. Those are mm-hmm. all. You know, that Kingdom Come Deliverance that was supposed to come out. I don't know if that's actually more of an RPG game. But yeah, that one looks really good. But it's a similar similar combat system. Yeah, I'll have to check it out. I've never been that look at him. Yeah. yeah. I think I have it on Steam, actually. Not sure. Yeah, it's really fun. Super. It's always, like, dirt cheap. Yeah. So, And, it's always, and there's a lot of people that play because there's not a lot of... Uh, games in that particular genre i mean there is a few but not yeah. like a staggering amount like a shooter it's know? such a it's, it's such a cult it's got it's got such a cult following i think it'd be hard to get into that now because everybody that still plays it are probably really good yeah you know yeah. what i mean i i had a buddy who my wife pretty solid watch the game I can play. Hmm. It's like a first person melee game. It's just weird to me. Yeah. And I know the mechanics on that are going to be pretty deep. Yeah, absolutely. I, I apologize for the delay. We are trying to actively work out audio issues because <laughs> let's, let's, let's be real. The audio in this room is jank as fuck. We've got 
Uh, me on my own Discord line. We've got Adam and Irk sharing a Discord line. We're trying not to overrun each other's mics with carefully balanced no- noise floors and mic placements, <laughs> and it is all falling apart for our very Yeah. It's good, though. It's tough. It, it, <laughs> it would be really yeah, nice try. if we had our own if studio anything, with, the... like, isolated vocal booths or, like, you know, a really nice room that isn't so reflective and sound doesn't bounce off the walls and into each other's mics and... Yeah, but, you know, right. you make do. <laughs> but but thanks thanks to Adam's hard work, the recorded version of the podcast should have better audio. We'll fix it in post. Unless, Unless we start, start <laughs> yelling. Just like we'll just that. fix it in post. No problem. Yeah. Easy. So easy. <laughs> <laughs> so that said, games this week. What have you guys been playing? Nothing. I haven't played a lot because playing I've let's been, fuck the audio. I, I was what? scrambling trying to get stuff done that I needed to get done before I left out. You know, like taking care of my house. I had to mow my lawn before I left so I don't go back to a jungle. I had to Welcome to the make jungle. sure my laundry was done so I had stuff to wear here. You know, all that kind of stuff. So I didn't have a whole lot of time to play. Um before I flew out here, I played what, maybe like a couple matches of Rocket League. Just to see, I, w- I actually just wanted to play like one or two to see how much of that candy corn I would get. <laughs> oh, get oh one or they're, two doing, get yeah, they're doing the Halloween <laughs> event. Um, every game you play, you get a X amount of candy corn. Kind of randomized, I think. It's like three And you five can use that to buy Halloween game. items. That's how they're doing it this time. So I yeah. played like a couple of those. Did you guys, have you guys played much of that this yeah, week? I like, yes. the way, I like the way they're a doing the it. drop, except for the crate. The crate kills me because I thought if you buy the crate with the candy corn, you're going to be able to open it for free. But no, you still need a key. Yeah. But if you buy the crate with right. money, you open it for free. Yeah. Weird. Really weird. But right. I guess that's nice for the people who want to just drop a bunch of money on the crates and know they have them. They don't have to like wait to randomly get them drops. Yeah. But the nice I thing do I like the idea like, of get. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, so the one thing I did like is they added something called a decryptor key. You can mm-hmm. buy with the currency mm-hmm. that allows you to open any crate for free. You can no longer trade the item or trade That's it nice. in. You can't mm-hmm. trade or trade it in, but it gives people who are not willing to buy keys a chance to still get an item. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. What I don't like about that, though, is that, you know, you, even though you can't trade it at the end, you don't really get like a range to pick from. It would be really cool if, like, you, if you use like two or three, you can get like a higher rarity and it like guarantees you a higher rarity item. It's still like super RNG. Cause yeah. what ended up happening is someone that we know, um, ran, did a decryptor key on a chest and ended up getting a skin he's never going to use. So he, so anytime he trades that, if he trades that item up into something else, then that can't be sold either. So he's kind I was, of just, I was told you can't trade it. I don't think you can trade them up either. Really, you can't trade them yeah, out. No. No. Whatever you get is, that's, this is you're stuck with that item forever. So the way you can't I view this, this is just the way, so you don't have to spend money. If you want the ability to do the trade and stuff, spend the money, get the key. But this is yeah. really targeting people who don't want to buy key. Is really True. what it's going for. Yeah. I mean, I thought I was gonna hate it because I think it's. I always thought it was kind of. Uh, this is kind of weak. <laughs> to have like another method of currency and another method of trade-ins. But I actually love the idea of the currency because what happens is that you can guarantee yourself a certain, uh, a crate after X amount of games. Like it only mm-hmm. takes, it doesn't take that long to build up currency. You just need to keep playing games and you right. can just do a shitload of casual and then end up with like, you know, six or seven crates pretty easily. You just need to play. And it's right. and, and you know what crate you're gonna get. It's really it's really nice. So I like that the getting you know having to use a key on it is whatever at that point, because um, yep. it's just like a it's like a stage drop, which I actually really really like. Like you like you know you're gonna get what you're gonna get. You just have to ride it out. So yeah, no, I, I've been really enjoying. It. I have my my car's all spooky now, nice. scaring everybody. I saw that, everybody. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's fantastic. I'm super amped. Yeah, we we played a little bit more of that today. Once I got here, um, got to see your spooky car. <laughs> oh, it was so scary! It scared everyone. Spooky I was going car. crazy close. Yeah, everyone was like too scared, so they like left the net the net all open. <laughs> like, ah, get away! <laughs> nice. So, so other than a little bit of Rocket League, I actually got some time to play on the plane. Um, I I prepared myself so well for the flight. I downloaded five episodes of House of Cards uh, nice. offline on Netflix. I downloaded like 
10 podcast episodes and like <laughs> a bunch of music to listen to. And then I downloaded a couple of mobile games, which I did not come in with high hopes. And I'm glad I didn't come into it with high hopes because my experiences weren't great. But um, the one decent game I played was called, I don't know if it's called Infinite Loop or just Loop. It's the infinity sign and then Loop. Um, it's just this really simple little puzzle game. You've got these random uh, assortment of shapes. Most of them are curved lines and circles, and you basically have to uh, tap on the pieces you want, and it rotates them, and you have to make the whole thing one uh, shape, basically, so that there's no like random lines sticking out. Everything's connected together. So, That's weird. Yeah. It's kind of hard to describe without showing you, but... Um, it's just a simple little puzzle game and there's nothing really to it. It's just something to keep your attention on. If you're waiting on something or whatever. So I didn't hate it, didn't love it, but it was decent. Um, and then I had a very frustrating experience because I'm looking for games to play on mobile and I don't know what are the good mobile games. I don't know. I don't follow Monument that. Valley. Yeah. That's it. So that's the only one. But there were a couple of games I, I recognized oh, so and, and games I know I love. One of them was the first Sonic the Hedgehog. Free on the Sega thing. How does that play on now, mobile? Hang on. Okay. So I downloaded two know. things from Sega. <laughs> one of them was Sonic 1, and the other one was Crazy Taxi. Oh, shit. I was like, okay. yes, I'm going to yeah. Crazy Taxi on the flight. Yeah, this is going to yeah, be yeah, so yeah. great. So I, so I start I, I, to... Okay, so, you got so it. So I'm sitting Thank on the you. plane. I'm like, all right, I'm going to play some Sonic. This is going to be great. I click on Sonic. Crashes. Oh. Click on Sonic again. Goes to the main menu, fine, crashes. Damn it. Uh, I click on Sonic again. I finally get to the part where I can I can select new game. And it tries to connect to the Google Play games. And you can't play it unless you have an internet connection. Are you fucking kidding me? So you can't play Sonic 1 <laughs> or Crazy wah, wah, Taxi wah. unless you have an internet connection. Fuck you, Sega. <laughs> Did you, um, you. Wait, qu hey, quick question. Hold yeah, on, hold on. Yeah, yeah. Before we, before we do that, quick question. Shit. Shit. No, no, no. Quick question. Yeah. So did, is that the first time you launched it? Okay. So a lot of games have a download that you have to do after your mm. initial grab. So like the bigger okay. games, like they especially do. Grand Theft Auto, like yep. if, you, if that's your first time launching it, you have to actually do the big actual download of the game after you've installed it off the Play Store. Oh, so think weird. about the Play Store as like an mm. installer. Yeah. And then the next step, like if you were do, there's like a bunch of really cool shooters that are out there. Mm -hmm. There's a bunch of really cool um, like racing sims and a bunch of like and like GTA mm -hmm. and all those games, like all those bigger games, you actually have to download after you download. So it's like a double download. I really download. hate that, though. I, <laughs> I really do. hate that. It's fine, like in a way it's for like, me, hey, because it's like have to go to Vice City. It's like three megs. And no, no, it fucking isn't It's like three like, games. I mean, you should kind of know like the download the initial download is cool because i can like queue it and i say hey i want that i hit it i download the installer it's just like downloading any installer mm -hmm. you just download the installer and you go from there so i'm not like totally opposed to it i mm -hmm. don't necessarily like hate isn't really the feeling it's just i know i could queue it up and do it after but absolutely try and see if it's a secondary download if it's not we'll bitch about it next time yeah <laughs> okay <laughs> i'll try that we'll see yeah so, so that, that experience was bad. And I had one other game I downloaded. There's a Stranger Things mobile game. Really? The, the Netflix special, or the next Netflix show, Stranger Things. Excellent, by the way. If you haven't watched Stranger Things yet, you need to watch Stranger Things. It is so good. It is, it is so, so good. It is good. so much uh, like old Stephen King it. movies meets The Goonies or something. They, they name drop Stephen King. They name drop Steven Spielberg. Mm -hmm. like, like, it is the marriage of those two ideas, and it is so deliciously really 80s. And the new season comes out on Halloween. I'm so ready. Oh, my God. It's going to be so it's good. Gonna, I'm going to fly back to Ohio just in time to be home for the weekend and binge Stranger Things season so two. So <laughs> I'm, I'm going to hold my Switch and play Mario Odyssey mm -hmm. while watching season two of Stranger There you go. Nice. <laughs> But um, there's a Stranger Things mobile game, and it's the the way the game is is very much like a an old Zelda game, like Link to the Past or something. Um, it's just kind of an adventure thing. Uh, a lot of it is collecting keys. You basically you tap on the screen where you want the dude to move. If you tap on an enemy, he'll walk up and punch him. Um, I didn't play it for very long. 
be honest, it didn't really catch my attention much. Okay. But, was it like I mean gameplay or Yeah, maybe was it, like the it just wasn't dead? that fun. I don't know. Was it a point was it like oh okay, yeah okay. I'm I'm having trouble grasping this. Is it's, it uh the, the gameplay is, it, is, is it like point, is it a Zelda. point and click adventure? Old Zelda. Oh, like Zelda. Yeah. Oh okay. but instead of having a directional buttons to control your character, you just press on the screen where you want to go. Like an oh, MMO or something, okay. kind of. All right. Oh, okay. So then, do you when you click on someone that attacks them? So like, yeah. you click on an enemy. Yeah. And your dude will like, like run to him close enough, and then he'll swing at him. Oh, okay, so it's kind of like it's kind of like the um like de- like that one dungeon crawler, uh, Pixel Dungeon, where you click on what you're doing. Oh, I Maybe love I Pixel Dungeon. Play. Pixel Dungeon is so Does good, it... and it's free. Get get shattered. Yeah, Pixel you should have that one. It's so cheap. <laughs> shattered, shattered Pixel Dungeon uh, is a great tiny little mobile roguelike that's free. Mm. It's so good. It's really, really good. Fair enough. But um, yeah, it seemed it seemed kind of cool. I I guess if you're a fan of the series, maybe if you stick in with it a little bit more, it, you'll get some story stuff, and you might get that. Oh, you know, here's characters I know from the show and all that kind of stuff. But um, I didn't have a whole lot of time with it. I didn't particularly care for the gameplay. Uh, basically, the part I played, uh, you play as the cop dude investigating that laboratory place. And I'm just walking around and there's like lasers blocking a path. And I have to get the key cards to undo each laser. And there's a card for each laser. It just wasn't that fun. But It, it sounds kind of... <laughs> I, I don't know. It sounds kind of... Uh arbitrary yeah. like they're they're trying to invent game plan like oh there's a bunch of yeah. keys and shit you yeah. gotta get that's probably like oh cool look we made this little game with the show that's kind of cool well, right i mean that's that's like the foundation that's like mm-hmm. entry level uh game design like yeah that's that's what you do you create keys and doors keys and doors is like the foundation of gaming yeah, right? you and- do something to create a key <laughs> or get a key and then you open a door like that's like yeah fundamental stuff but it's like it's a little too fundamental (laughs) the way the way you were saying keys and doors made me think boats and hose keys and doors doors. 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 Uh, honestly uh the best part of playing that game though was hearing the stranger things theme song in 8-bit and that was kind of (laughs) cool oh that's really cool oh i like when they do stuff like that did you ever play scott pilgrim versus the world i've always wanted to i did oh uh, my god if you haven't done that and you like pixel like pixel art and you like the sound like they nailed it but like absolutely pick it up play it it's amazing a friend of ours like got like crazy into it and like did there's like different difficulty modes and he beat it on like the very last like really hard difficulty mode mm-hmm. man that game that game's really good it is it is it really captures like retro gaming hmm. and it's like based off a comic which is really cool <laughs> yeah well, I mean, nice. it was based off of the movie, but I mean, the comic is the movie. The the movie made You're it popular, comic. but it's all <laughs> take place off of the everything off we've the ever known is comics. It's a good nice. comic. You, watch, you read it too. Screw it. <laughs> it was good. The comic was good. Game was yeah. good. It's a trifecta. Just nail them off. <laughs> yeah. Um. So, other than the Stranger Things mobile game, that's all the mobile games I played. Um, I played a little Drug. bit of Battlegrounds earlier this week. Uh, just. I like playing a couple matches. Um, I still suck really bad at that game, but that's fine. Um, and then I got here, and Mr. Eric here has a couple things I don't have at home. One of them is a PS4, and the other is a Nintendo Switch. So I got to play Horizon right. Zero Dawn a little bit. I played up yeah. through the tutorial section, which is actually kind of a long section. Yeah, it's it's decently long. It's because there's a lot that's not necessarily normal game mm, yeah okay and then i have a question for you yeah did you did you find it super weird how she ran when she was a little girl everything about the character when she was a little girl is weird the way she looks and <laughs> runs around she's so creepy I, I it looks what, what is it so it's bad. the beginning section of the game you play as the main character yeah. but as a little kid she's like so six I mean, what's, or something what's so weird about her? I mean, just the proportions her arms and, and the way she moves around it almost she looks like a supersized baby yeah <laughs> she looks like no, she looks like a little person yeah she looks like she's running Somebody around, with she runs around almost more with, than okay yeah. It's not a child. It's a. So it's it just a, it's looks a like small... an adult character model and like shrunk it no. a little bit. No, no I don't. No. Th- not that far. It's just like the animations. They mu- it looks like they took the animations from not a child, 
but a dwarf. On. Okay, yeah. <laughs> it doesn't okay. make a lot of sense. It's really <laughs> it just looks awkward. weird. If you watch gameplay, you'll you'll see it just it just looks weird. <laughs> yeah, it's really really weird. Yeah, the rest yeah. of the game is really good. Yeah, the game <laughs> Did is, you get to play any more of it? The scenery in that game is gorgeous. There was one thing about the girl though I wanted to call out. Yeah. Is when she gets there's a part in the tutorial you drop into water. Yeah. And my God, she listens when she's wet. <laughs> I mean, it looks like they have spotlights on her and they rubbed her down Vaseline or something. I mean, the lights just reflecting <laughs> off of her. Okay, before we, before okay, we all get so, on the list. Yeah. yeah. So oh. Then we're at episode oh. 52. We're talking about rubbing down children with Vaseline. No. <laughs> Mark down the date and time. Yes. <laughs> Anyway, it was, it was a good uh, year, fellas. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> that was fun. Good job, guys. <laughs> Everybody, good job. It's been a, it's been a good excellent. run. No, it, it it was good. I really enjoyed that uh, that game a lot. It looked mm-hmm. awesome. It looked awesome. It was fun. I I actually never finished it though. Yeah. Oh. Because I had the same experience with that. Like I do most RPGs, mm-hmm. and I just sort of drop off, and then like I I go do something else, and then I forget where I'm at, and then I'm uh. like, fuck it, I'm not playing that again. <laughs> how far, <laughs> how far did back. you get into that? Because that has. I, some... I was checking out the draft things. Like I, I I just found like a couple of the draft things. Oh, so you didn't get far into the story because that story I, gets I, a fucking hook in you once you start realizing really? what's going on. I got uh, to the point. Yeah, I got to the point where I was. I visited. I'm not going to spoil too much. Um, but like the underground elder place mm-hmm. is that cryptic enough? <laughs> um, sure. And the boss down there. Oh, oh! So you got to the first cauldron. You can yeah. call that. Yeah, they're, they're known. There things. you go. And I finished that. Yeah. After that is another underground thing you go into and then that's when shit starts to blow your mind because mm-hmm. what you're doing is you're piecing together what happened to the old world okay and you, good. that's cool. right. but yeah it gets that that sounds better because the beginning of the game the story hasn't really hooked me yet yeah it's just it's you part of your tribe oh, yeah. they outcast, they outcast yeah. me because of reasons unknown yet they still respect me for reasons unknown mm-hmm. and they're going to accept you because you're with me i'm an outcast raya yeah right i i actually really like the first portion of it like all like all the way up to the point where you have that situation that occurs like during like the trials right like the whole Mm -hmm. up to the trials thing um like all the up to the trials thing everything all of that was really really good Mm -hmm. he saw at the beginning was awesome yeah yeah i just really i really like the yeah i loved like i loved all of it I loved all of it. I just, it just dropped out of it. <laughs> yeah. Um. So I, I played a little bit of that. I didn't get too far into it. Like I said, just past the tutorial bit and a little bit after that. But uh, it seemed pretty cool. I don't. It didn't really hook me, but uh, I can tell that they put a lot of time into that. Um. And then I got my hands on the Switch. Finally, I got to Switch. hold a Nintendo Switch and play it, That's and it was cool. cool. Uh, I see. played a little bit of Mario Kart. Played like one round. I'm not a Mario Kart guy, so it was just like, ah, oh, it's Mario Kart, cool. And then I played like a very small bit of Splatoon 2. The, the intro tutorial? Yeah, basically just a tutorial of that. Um, but it, it feels good. The, the console itself, it feels good. I like it. Yeah, it's for being plastic, it feels really good. Mm-hmm. I think I'm one of the few people in the world that is not upset that it's a plastic screen instead of a glass screen. Um, I do not like the plastic. I don't mind so much. I bought a screen protector, but the fact that it is so easily damaged mm-hmm. it bugs me. That said, when you drop it, you're not necessarily going to shatter it. You'll crack it, but it's not going to shatter. Mm. So, so I I get it. I get it. A lot of the early damaging was, I don't know if you docked it or undocked it. The dock no, is a very rigid rectangle. Yeah. And what's happening is people are, when they pick up their switches, there's not enough buffer on the inside, so you can rotate it and actually scrape the Ugh. corner of the rectangle on the screen. Uh, yeah, it, it was a very poor design that, that they just picked. to think about. <laughs> That's why there's yeah. that little cover on mine. Mm-hmm. It's to protect you from scratching your screen. So, so speaking of switch docks, um, here's, here's a company you might not have heard of for a while. Nyko uh, is actually coming out with a brand new Nintendo switch dock for about, I want to say it was 50 bucks. Nice. It's a tiny one. It's portable. And I was like, oh my God, 
I'm gonna buy it right now. I'm traveling in three days. I can I can just buy this and, and get it right now. And then I went and I tried to give Nyko all of my money. And um yeah, it's it, it'll be for sale in three months. Oh. So <laughs> yeah, I so you're ready. The, the big ass switch dock. <laughs> that was really sad. Just playing hand. I I like to have the dock because sometimes I just want to sit back and chill like on the hotel bed and play it on a big screen. Yeah. Um, I except I literally played 15 minutes like that this last trip. I was so busy. <laughs> yeah, when I was on travel, it. Docking on an airplane. Those USB jacks, they, they don't yep. work well. <laughs> No, no, they don't at all. They they are very underpowered. Uh, but um, the last flight, um, actually, when I came home, I didn't talk about this. Had an exit seat. But typically, you have on flights that have power, you have a one ten off in the seat in front of you, and you have mm -hmm. to share it with your neighbor. But since I was the exit seat and no one in front of me, a I had all the leg room in the world. B I had a private adapter directly on. Nice. Like, Fuck That's yes. good. <laughs> I don't share my shit with anyone. Awesome. Oh. So that uh, pretty much wraps up with what I've played. That I didn't have a whole lot of time, given that I'm out here. But being out here is awesome. <laughs> you could be playing right now, but it could not. be. Yeah, and this, we got this, this stupid is, this podcast to do for Sheer some laziness. Shitty what year of talking about stuff? Like, what are we even doing? Could be <laughs> you're, games you're complaining. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, if you act like people really want to play games. So you see, my reason of talking is because I have you guys here, and then yeah. it seems like I have friends. Oh yeah. I mean that, that's that's really the reason. <laughs> okay. Then we digress. The games. <laughs> what have you guys been playing? Nothing. Nothing. Okay, okay I've Nothing. been playing something. You've been playing something? Yeah, just, yeah, just a little something. It? Um, so I've been playing more Overwatch. Uh, Overwatch is still, um, really fun. Yeah. A whole shit ton of fun. Uh, the first Halloween loot crate that I opened was the Mercy Witch costume, which I, get, I guess is the most sought after item oh, right really? now. Yeah. yeah. So oh. I got it and I don't play Mercy because I saw oh, it. Oh, you're going to sell the shit out of it? Uh, I don't know if you can sell, you sell them, them or trade them or there's something. A market I, don't, or... I don't think you can. Oh, yeah. I, I would take that for so, sure. I like, I like playing Mercy. You you can you can have my Mercy Witch costume. So um, I don't think you so, can sell it. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's it's fun. Um, I had like several more of those moments where both teams are like right about to win. Literally, we had two teams on ninety nine percent of a control point. Um, and I was I was so close. And and we were almost about to lose, and then went in as McCree and like did the it's high noon thing and <laughs> killed four of the teammates on the point. And after the last guy dropped, my team was on the point and we won. Oh, I was nice. I was the winning kill. It was so fantastic. <laughs> so yeah, Overwatch is still awesome. Uh, I put in a lot more time because it's portable mm -hmm. because it's on the Switch. Um, I put in a shit ton more time into Axiom. Nice and. It's getting weird. Weird. It's, it's getting really so weird. For those watching our background, it, you, it's kind of hard to see because we've got all the stuff on top of it, but that's from Ac Axiom Verge. Yes. Um, it is a good Metroid style game. Uh, it is very good. It is very playable. Mm -hmm. um, so I was on the bus today. Ah, oh, fuck, because I had just died. So I, I shut off the game, shut off my Switch, put it in my bag. Um, and apparently it saves when you die, except it keeps like what you've unlocked the map and big items. You mm -hmm. So I could just pick right back up. And even though I wasn't like at the room I was in, I still had made some amount of progress. Okay. Which, which is great. Yeah. I, I didn't have to go through and do all that shit all over again. Um, That's a frustrating feeling. It is. It is. Especially in a Metroidvania where you're just, yeah. where the fuck do I go? Yeah. Um, the map hasn't been too, too confusing so far, although right now where I'm at in the game feels fairly linear. Um, it's good. It's good. I like it. Um, I don't know if it's worth the switch tax. Definitely right now. But if you want a modern Metroid game on the go, Axiom Verge is the one for you. Also, the soundtrack. Holy shit. Now, didn't, it didn't is the guy so that programmed good. the game do the music too? Is this that game or is, am I thinking of something else? Um, I don't know. On um, There was like... 
I want to say like Indian style music in the area oh, I'm in really now. Really nice. Like, like oh, it was cool. all quiet, and there was like slamming or, or some sort of sound effect. I was like, what the fuck? And then like, like there's this singing out of nowhere, and I was like, oh, holy shit, shit this, this is, is getting. getting uh, also, I totally got scared by an enemy and jumped out of my seat on the bus, <laughs> and people were looking at me. So, yeah, yeah it's funny. good. <laughs> I've actually been wanting to play this game. It it, it looks cool. I, I love the style. I don't know anything about it. I don't. I know nothing about this game. Look at the trailer sometime. It looks cool. Oh yeah, you you should look. I don't think you would like it. It's not your style of game, mm -hmm. uh, but it is really cool. Also. Regardless of if you're going to buy this game, uh, like go to YouTube or something and pull up the soundtrack. The music. Yeah, it's it's good. It's really good. Yeah, so Axiom Verge. Too much Stardew then. Bouncing off Stardew. Oh, sorry. Are you, are you, I was reading chat. Are you, are you, I was distracted by our are you great bouncing off Stardew and subscribers <laughs> and likers and comment. Are you maybe uh, um, Bouncing off Stardew? Yeah. Yes. Our, 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 Tom, Tom, Tom are, you, are you bouncing off Stardew? Um, Tom, about a real quick question, though, before we get into that. Um, are yeah. you are you bouncing off Stardew? So what I'm, what I'm hearing here... Oh, yeah, okay, so cool. Chat wants to know if I'm uh, if I'm bouncing off Stardew. Oh, um, yeah, you better answer So I, I guess I should answer that. Yeah. Um, so to the question of whether or not I am bouncing off Stardew, uh, I would say I have played 30 minutes. Oh. I planted some crops, I watered some shit, I chopped down a tree, saved, and then I went back to Axiom. Hmm. Oh, good. <laughs> oh, in that that's, case, that's all I played. Yeah, that's complete opposite. So, but. so, me and you were talking about this earlier, of having, like, judging how much you like a game based on whether or not it pulls you from playing the other game you're playing. Yes, yes. So, okay. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. Yep. so, if this is the case, then Axiom Verge has so, pulled you away from Stardew Valley. It, it Therefore, it's, been, it's a good game. So, here, yes. here's exact context what Adam and I were talking about. Is a game can be good and not break this threshold, but to me, a game's not great unless it breaks this threshold. And the threshold point for me is Rocket League. If a game does not make me dip out of Rocket League for substantial time, I don't think it's a great game. Like, for example, <laughs> um, Shadow of War. I mean, I'll, I'll play it from time to time, but when other people are ready to do Rocket League, I jump back on Rocket League. It is mm -hmm. not really cutting down my Rocket League. Yeah. Horizon Zero Dawn, I was away from my computer for an entire week. Yeah. And even on my second playthrough, <laughs> I'm passing certain nights to just do that instead. Mm -hmm. so, I mean, th there's certain games that make a threshold to me where if you are not making me cut substantial time out of this or that, mm -hmm. I, it's a rating system for Game. Yeah, That's Overwatch awesome. is killing my Witcher playtime right now. Yeah. It absolutely is. So Overwatch is going to be your game then. If if a game so. pulls you away from Overwatch, then you know that you found something it's, nice. It's so great. It's like I can jump in for so small a chunk of time and walk <laughs> away. And I That's, know every time I love The Witcher, I am there for. Th yeah. Not because I can't make progress in any shorter amount of time. I absolutely can. Mm -hmm. I just won't leave. <laughs> But anyway. That's why we do. That's exactly why we do Rocket League. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah I play a lot yeah. of Rocket League. If something pulls me away from Rocket League. That's a damn good game. Yeah. I, I, <laughs> the last time that happened, I think, was Little Nightmares. I actually played all the way through Little Nightmares, and I don't know that I played Rocket League in the middle of any of that. I think I played through that game, and that was the only game I played until I was done with it. I don't think there's been a game since Rocket League came out that I have played start to finish without playing Rocket League. At all. We're all addicted. The problem. Yeah. We might have to have a meeting. Well, yeah, yeah. We're going to take you to uh, right, an super aerobatic rocket battle is there, cars. Is there a twelve-step no, program anonymous. for you mean rocket cars? Rocket battle cars? What? Yeah, anonymous. What yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, so Josh, what have you been yeah. playing this week? Yeah, tell us about it. Hey, I played Rocket League. Nice. <laughs> I played really? Rocket League with you need to stop I'll that. keep it short, but we actually made our we made our goal. <laughs> You made you your made goal. goal. What's your goal? Yeah, well, well, we're trying to like go through like um, we're trying to get through uh, the ranks faster this season than we did last season. Last season we kind of screwed around. Yeah. And then at the very end we're like, oh yeah, let's do that rank thing. And then <laughs> we, <laughs> then we didn't do it. So right. we're we're trying to make it through. We made we made our uh, our goal of, of champ two. And that's good because it's only been like two weekends mm -hmm. <laughs> that we've been trying. So it's worked out. 
So you got through, made a, into champ two or through champ two to champ we're, we're into champ we're into champ two nice. so hopefully make some headway into that and then by the end you know at some point get out of champ two into champ three once nice. all the good players quit playing Very cool <laughs> <laughs> but anyway um moving into like one of the things that i played um i went back to uh 30 flights of loving the game that crashed on me during the uh <laughs> That, that crashed on me during the... Oh, um, yeah, yeah. Yeah. During the Lost and Found. I tried Lost and Found like three or four times mm-hmm. and tried to get through it and it crashed all the time. But I actually, I just didn't change anything mm-hmm. and I went straight in and actually got through it. And it's short. Really short. Stupid short. How short? I basically finished it in that time that it was crashing. I actually got to the end of it. Wait, <laughs> I was really? At the end of it. Yeah, so like Jesus. that What's that the, total, cast, the total run time then? It's got to be like five minutes. Wow. Does, does this game cost money? Uh, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> I actually don't what know. Is, how much see. does this cost? Let's go. I have it. I still have it installed. Okay, here we go. Okay, here it is. Store page. Drum roll, please. It costs five dollars. Five dollars. Five whole dollars. That's cheap for a game, but but for five minutes. But like five dollars for five minutes. That doesn't. Would you spend sixty bucks to see? So have you have you gone like full spoiler mode on YouTube? I did. I did. Okay. So I thought this was gonna be like a. Yeah, I thought it was gonna be like a Stanley Parable. I thought it was like, oh, you know, play it again. You get a different ending. Play it again. I, I did everything. I didn't even did things the YouTubers didn't do. (laughs) <laughs> like you could like there's one thing you can do and you can pick up this orange and you can carry the orange through the entire game and i just did that and i don't know why well, i did why that would, why would like, you carry an orange through the entire game i don't you know I, had, I had an why orange you, you gotta know? have that vitamin c just yeah, ready dude. to go just in case you you never know like you'll get stuck somewhere and if you don't have it you could gotta have that scurvy. vitamin c plan b <laughs> you could go full scurvy Backup, man yeah Maybe Can't there's an it. alternate ending I was missing. Kirby's a Maybe real like... problem this day and age. <laughs> That's true. So I think I think um, we've got some Showtime magic for us. Well, are you, are you gonna do it? What? No, what? no. What? What's happening? What are you doing? Tom can't be smooth about anything. No, I can't. <laughs> it's gonna take me some time to get it ready. Oh, 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 I thought you already had it ready. I'm looking at it right now. Yes. All right. What'd you do? What What's going on, guys? I, I'm not even. I've totally lost. Lost. No, no one's That's supposed fine. to know anything right now. Tom, Tom, Tom will be able to cue it in like he wants in a second. Thirty, 30 flights of loving. You you finished that? Yeah, I did. It was it was okay. it was good, but it was short. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, that was the confusing thing. I remember looking back, just like God. That's what the fuck is going on with that? Uh-huh. Yeah, it was really weird. I I don't know. I really liked it. Like I liked how they told the story, and even like when I when I made it through it, it was. It was so good that time through, um, but it, it just there wasn't enough there. It was like a blip of a universe, and the story actually came through too fast because it was too little. You know, you're like, oh, you fall in love with this chick. Oh, she betrays you? Question mark. Oh, now she's drunk on a motorcycle. Oh, it's over. <laughs> Credits. <laughs> that, like that's, that's, were, that's were you drunk on the motorcycle game. as well? I think so. I don't know. Okay. I was on a motorcycle. I had an orange. That's so your response. Yes. Us. <laughs> it's just irresponsible. No, he had I mean, an orange. He was driving responsible. Oh yeah, I, I forgot. You had some vitamin C. You were drunk. good. You're good. I was on the back of the motorcycle. Sir, are you drunk? Oh, no, yeah. I've got an orange here. Oh, okay, you're good. <laughs> you're fine. Good. Carry on. <laughs> I, I see. I see you have the orange. Stay hydrated, son. Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> So what about what yeah. else? What other other than the five minute masterpiece that totally didn't crash ever? <laughs> that is thirty flights of loving. Uh, what what wonderful things did you get into? We, me and Tom got into some Fortnite battle royale with oh, you. Indeed, I forgot. I forgot that on my what yeah, I've I been did. playing this week. We played one match, and we won the one match. Yeah, we played more than that. Nice. We played like three we matches, three? but we won one of them. I thought I just played yeah, one. We, uh, no, we played three. Did we played three. Yeah, yeah, and we won. I'm flies. We won just having fun, I guess. It, it was doesn't, great. It doesn't take as long as PUBG. They are yeah. substantially different games. Um, they are. While they have a hundred people, while the objective is the same, the way you play them is very different. Because at the end, when we were, uh, when we were facing off against the last team, my job was to build a shit ton of cover and make sure that snipers couldn't take us out. While Josh was sneaking around like 
firing shit at them mm-hmm. and somebody was sniping were you sniping i, I, you were sniping. I had a shotgun oh, oh yeah you had the shotgun yeah. okay I, was, I killed the guys good. that came up the hill on us oh yeah okay yeah so i feel like it was um different mm-hmm. than PUBG. uh yeah i dare no say comparison. i like it better than PUBG. i think it feels better to play um i think while it is hello for the I, record, I don't, I don't, you don't yeah. want to say. You know, I'm, I'm trying to. Th- I'm trying to put words. It's not this. PUBG for babies. Dude, that wasn't Tom yeah. cutting yeah, out. That was Tom. Yeah. Just that was me. Yeah, I was <laughs> like, I was just checking. I like the brain stopped operating. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, it's. I almost said that it's more polished than PUBG, but that's. But it's true. A shitty it's, statement. The combat's it's less true, polished. It is, I think. It is. But it's more think. polished in the fact that it. It seems less buggy. It runs better. It runs so much. better. It's smoother. It is. Uh, I felt like it was less laggy than PUBG has been for the past. Yeah. I mean, it's a more stable game. The core, the foundation yeah. of that game is built by like. It's gonna sound really stupid, but professionals, like people mm-hmm. that really know the ins and outs of this engine, that really like that know how to do this yeah. perfectly. You know, and they did it, and they did a great job. And you, when you when you play that game, when you play the the, the single player game, you feel it and you see it. It's all mm-hmm. there. Yeah, um, I will. I will like say, everything. um, the second time we played it, I had played it like the week prior by myself. I tried like one or two matches, and I was just like, ah, this feels like garbage. Uh, maybe I just, mm-hmm. maybe it just you have to get used to it or something, or maybe I was expecting something else. But when we played that what, that those couple of matches that night, I actually did enjoy it. It was fun. Yeah, I think I, I've wanted to go back to it, but it's not one of those games I want to play alone. Like, yeah. I, I oh, try yeah. not to play oh, PUBG yeah. alone because it just sucks alone, I think. Um, yeah, yeah. And Fortnite absolutely. Battle Royale alone, I think, would suck yeah, as well. I love playing Battlegrounds alone. I don't know why. Yeah? Just just okay. it's dropping Pochinki, no yeah. thoughts, nothing. Just rushing Just there. playing man versus car, yep. you and nature. Actively. <laughs> trying to find. First, first person PUBG by yourself is really fun because there's no rush mm-hmm. to, like, if the rest of the team's dead, just kind of creeping around watching people. Just mm-hmm. everyone doesn't like but, that. Where when you're by yourself, it's just kind of fun to just creep around the town. You know, people are in. Mm-hmm. And I'm not even necessarily playing to win. It's just I. same thing I got from DayZ. Watching people who have no clue you're there, and then just kind of watching, see what they do, figure out what they're going to do, yeah. and then just think, <laughs> how can I interact with this? Or even better, yeah. watching two people, knowing they're going to run into each other. d yeah. always told me about this in uh, Day Z, and it's, I've noticed in PUBG, you know person A and person B are going down these two roads that are going to intersect. You're just like, fuck it, I don't want to kill that bad. I want to watch this. Yeah. And then you just watch them <laughs> get to the intersection. I saw boom. I saw this video of this guy in Battlegrounds. He was on a motorcycle, but the motorcycle was on. What? So it was like completely on its side, and the dude was on like on the motorcycle, but like laying on the ground basically. <laughs> and it was right by one of the drop crates. And these two people come up to this crate, and they you know they you know look through it or whatever, and they're they're kind of chilling there. And this dude runs right up to that bike, looking at it. I guess he thought he was dead or something, and then he walked away. And this dude is like cracking up laughing. He's streaming this, and he's just like dying laughing. And he's in Discord with his friends, and they're all laughing. Like, there's no way he didn't see you. There's no way. So, so he sits there and watches them for a while, and then they end up getting to a firefight with somebody across the road. Um, I don't know if they killed him or that just stopped or whatever. And they still didn't see him. They looked. The guy looked back at him again, and it wasn't like he just walked close to the <laughs> thing and was looking around. Like he walked, and you could see that the dude's gun was pointing right down at the bike at the guy, and he didn't notice him. <laughs> and he does that a third time, and he goes back up, and he gets on the bike, and then <laughs> they're both on the bike, <laughs> and the other guy jumps <laughs> off and kills the guy, and then he kills the other guy. <laughs> that is so awesome. Like I, I almost understand that more in like a one of the jeeps or something. Like maybe you didn't notice him in the back seat or whatever. But the dude was yeah. on an exposed motorcycle. And I was like, oh yeah, that's probably just the body and the the riding position on the back of the motorcycle. <laughs> <laughs> nice. This is a really funny clip, though. It's one of those where when you hear the people laughing in that experience, like their laugh is contagious to you, and then it just <laughs> makes it that much funnier. I love that. <laughs> So what else, Josh? Did you got anything else for us? Nothing too crazy. Just been kind of jumping around through little one, little games here and there, and I've done a lot of like 
really just a bunch of stuff for our Rocket League team. I've been trying to get all of our them all situated. They're gearing up to start going mm-hmm. going ham on some uh you know, on some some competitive events and a couple of them are streaming now, so you know, make sure to check them out. Um but uh yeah, I've just been really busy with all that stuff. So, so I'll, I'll throw it to myself then. Hey, yeah, Eric, yeah, what have you yeah. been playing? Oh, okay. Hey, Thanks Eric. for asking. Yeah, so, uh, <laughs> Sorry. so now we're going to jump uh, right, right into, into the news. news. <laughs> yeah, anyway. You guys no, would, would you... I have the power. Fuck yeah. you all. I all will right. talk. The power. I, think, all right, quit. I think our wonderful subscribers and, and the people who follow us, the people who we do this for have all the power. Mm-hmm. What were you saying, Tom? They have overridden. I'm sorry, Tom. What are you saying? What? Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> yeah, never forget. I don't, I don't know that you muted me. Power. Okay. okay. All right. <laughs> anyway. Eric so exercising his ability to mute people. Uh, What'd anyway. you play? So Shadow of War. Yes. Um, I got a little more into it. I'm only still about five hours in, so mm-hmm. I'm not super deep. I'm not in the late game box about. Mm-hmm. So, so far, still really enjoyable. It is very much the first game. Uh, more orcs. Uh, the Nemesis system is a little more robust than it was before. Mm-hmm. And it's pretty awesome. I'm enjoying it a lot. Um, like I said, it doesn't beat my Rocket League threshold. Okay. Um, it hasn't Fair taken enough. substantial time. Like I don't play Rocket League by myself as much. Yeah. But then again, this morning I played for an hour and a half when I woke up by myself. So I mean, I'm still doing that rather than playing it. It's mm-hmm. the same same place where I put near Autonoma, where I enjoy the game. It's not that I don't. Mm-hmm. I mean, I would even recommend that game. It's just to me, I can't get it above Rocket League. So Fair enough. That's what it is on that. When um, Rocket League is cracked, then you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, Rocket League yeah. is my crack. Also played a lot more Stardew. Um, I I'm up to getting close to thirty hours. I think I'm just about to finish up my first year. So doing a lot of that. It's kind of man. Cool. You got through a whole year in thirty hours. That's pretty impressive. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> yeah, speed run that year. So um, yeah, I've maxed out my fishing. Um, my farming's not shit, which is weird. It's a farming game, and very little of that, which mm-hmm. is another thing I love. It you can do anything you want. Yeah, but um, yeah, but what's your woodcutting level? Um, ninety. No, actually, Jesus, no, man, no, no. up third levels on go. So. <laughs> oh, okay. I I see. I don't know this stuff because I don't play very much. But um, really, that's about all I've been playing. Um, on the bus, it's Stardew. It, a little bit of Stardew at night. Um, I think I may have played just a tad of Horizon Zero Dawn, not a whole lot. Mm-hmm. Um, that's You're still playing it. that? Yeah, I'm doing a second playthrough on the new uh, the new game plus because uh, in November the Wilds is coming out. It's going to be the last last thing they do for that game. Oh yeah. DLC. Oh, I thought that already came out. Yes. I'm so super... <laughs> we're gonna segue right into that real quick. Uh, that is some of the news that we have is yeah. that. Um, Horizon Zero Dawn, the uh, Frozen Wilds is going to be the DLC coming out in November. It will be the last thing of support they do for the game. Okay. That game is stamp sealed yeah. done. Honestly, that's nice. I don't, that's right, nice I don't have in a problem way. with that. I like, yeah. I like when there's just a really good game and it's just, that's the game. That's This that's, is the experience. You, you, you this is excellent. The and we don't have to go back to it. We don't have to make a million sequels. Maybe they'll make sequels. They are going to make but, sequels. You know. so, quick question for yeah. just one word answers. Mm-hmm. Equal or DLC? Which do you prefer, Adam? Sequel. Tom. Um, one word answer. Sequel. Josh. DLC. Do you like my new? I I think I'm DLC. Are you? Yeah. Nope. Okay. I think yeah. If Back in really day, why? DLC if used I to be called an expansion it. pack. Well, if I yeah. really had to expand on my on the my reasoning behind that, I could probably go into it. But it's really it really just comes down to the type of game or genre of game. It's an RPG, mm-hmm. you know. Maybe like I think doing a quick DLC and then a uh, sequel is probably the right way to go. I personally like like a quick little taste, like a dessert. You know, like <laughs> I, I really like that. Like they leave something a little bit open ended, and they kind of like they fill something and then segue you into the next one with like a little bit of a bonus yeah i, I really like i really like that um, but uh you know but if it's like a you know a more arcadey kind of game just yeah. give me just don't even don't even make anything else just keep sequeling it up fine yeah. with that <laughs> <laughs> or keep uh dlcing it up i mean <laughs> yeah 
I, I always think of, and I know this is not the right mindset, and it's probably not even true at all. But I almost think of like the the base game is the the main thing. That's like the best part. And I always just like in my mind assume that the DLC comes out and it's just like, oh, here's something else we threw together just to keep you busy for a while or something. This this is like a slightly less good version, but like an extra level or like like when a band releases an album re-release with like unreleased bonus tracks that are always like just right. kind of worse than the album, but yeah, they're yep. okay. They're not bad, but they're okay. You know, that's always right. how, what my brain interprets DLC as. And I know it's probably not true. I'm sure there's excellent DLC out there. Excellent. Uh, what was it? Wait, blood and wine. Yeah. Blood, blood and wine. Got, one game of the year. Yeah. And that's DLC. So maybe that's an exception or maybe I'm stupid, but I haven't really tried that many DLCs though. I think I bought one for like, last or something i i have before and i've gotten burned by really shitty dlc so i have to know something is truly special before i will go buy an expert pack Mm -hmm. it it's really it really boils down you know what i'm gonna drop it i'm gonna drop it right now dark souls dark souls dlc is great the expansions on those that they've done most of it most of but it, yeah. a lot of it. I mean, Dark Souls One, like all of those DLCs, were a lot of fun. I loved those. Uh, I, I I enjoyed it. I thought every every one of them added something else to the game. The sequel for like for two, I didn't really know because I actually got into the game late on two, and I ended up getting all of them in one big package as I did three. So, you know, I I just don't know. You know, as far as those are concerned, but th- but like Dark Souls One is a great example of that. The DLC expanded the experience overall and gave you more and that's that's exactly what it needs to be yeah but like there's also horse armor yeah <laughs> I'm goddamn so, fucking horse armor i'd rather and, have horse know, armor to be honest just kidding. what do you mean <laughs> <laughs> I need my armor i need hor- i need armor for this horse yeah. you yeah. can't just run <laughs> run without that a horse true. armor on that's the first thing I did do though in Skyrim. Like when I got a horse, I killed it immediately by accident. Like I'm like, oh, oh sick a horse, I'm just jamming through. And then like the horses were basically in, just there so you could scale mountains. Yeah, because they really had it. that absurd that ability to stand on ninety, like completely yeah. vertical inclines. They they are not affected by gravity. Nope. Oh, they just There's a picture though of a regular horse, like a real horse that's like on the side of a mountain like that though. <laughs> But That's it's awesome. obviously it's all ang- like you know its legs are all like, right, kicked yeah. back and stuff. But it's yeah. like it's like on the side of a crazy steep mountain, so you know, <laughs> somewhat realistic. Maybe, See, maybe a more realistic mount for Elder Scrolls games would be like a goat, right? Because they just fucking stand on shit. Have you ever seen mountain goats literally standing on the side of a mountain? No, they're really. fucking nuts. <laughs> yeah, mountain goats are nuts. Have you seen them in like r- in like rural areas or even like? Oh yeah. Or like hanging up on top of like lampposts. Like, how the fuck did you get up there? Yeah. <laughs> fucking goat, man. Yeah, fucking goat. What the hell is going on? All right, let's play some goat simulator after this. Oh yeah. <laughs> postcast game. Yeah, postcast game is goat post-cast simulator. Postcast goat. Everybody enjoy it in your own homes. Goat of the year edition. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, postcast. I actually I did enjoy that game. It was fun. Yeah, yeah it was like fun. An really hour or two. It. Yeah. Hey, it was. Hey, it was hey, worth hey. what I paid for it. I giggled uncontrollably <laughs> for a couple hours and yeah. that's about it. <laughs> they keep expanding that game yeah. for free, by the way. Have you noticed that? Yeah. 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 It's awesome. <laughs> so there was a little bit of other news. Um, there was a read city patent that was discovered to have existed. Oh, yeah. Um, Activision actually has a patent on a matchmaking algorithm that will pair newer players without gear against veteran players with really high dollar gear as an incentive to get lower level players without the gear to buy the better gear. There is, yep. a, there is a patent issued for that. A patent. That's such a weird... Luckily, luckily, hang on. There's a silver lining to this. Yes. So, this system is patent, right? That means no one can use this without, you know, like, throwing a nickel to Activision for the rights to use this. <laughs> So, so luckily, all we have to do is stop buying Activision slash Blizzard game because, you know, Blizzard is owned by Activision. And we won't ever see this system in our game. So Tom's going to stop playing Overwatch. I already bought it. It's too late. But from here on out. No, 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 Tom. It's not buying <laughs> it. It's playing it. That's the issue because it's a matchmaking algorithm. Oh, well, luckily I don't buy loot boxes. 
It's oh, a- I've outsmarted the whole system. All you have to do is not pay for anything. Hey, Tom, you're Wait, the one they're you targeting. Loot boxes? Yep. You are mm-hmm. the reason that they're targeting you. So you playing the game is the reason it works. Therefore, you need to follow I got, your I got own that boycott. Mercy skin. I don't need anything else. You need, That's it. You need to follow your own boycott. Huh? No, I just don't buy anything. I already bought it. Anyway, at I don't this need... point on, no more, right? No, no I, no I can't buying. do it, guys. I can't do it. Well, okay. <laughs> I can't do it. I am the problem. <laughs> I admit it. A little bit more news. Um, EA shut down Visceral Games. That's That kind of came as a shock because yeah. they were working on a really high-profile game for them. Yeah, a, a big-ass single-player Star Wars epic adventure thing. Uh, that said, so Reddit was fucking up in arms, man. Um, they they fucking hate you for all reasons because it's it's EA, right? Everybody hates. EA. I hate. EA. They're just a fun thing to hate. Yeah. But let's be real. Visceral Games put out one good game, the original Dead Space. The original everything Dead else, Space was great. Everything else they put out was pretty shitty, right? Mm-hmm. Dante's Inferno is widely considered to be one of the worst action adventure games ever created. Um, Dead. Dead Space Two was just wasted effort and trashed fantastic series dead space three was just dog shit. um i i don't feel bad about this it was a struggling studio that didn't make any money it didn't make anything too good so yeah kill it it's not like right when ea killed max right it's fucking max how could you kill them they're historic they're making good shit um instead ea exploited them put out the worst sim city game known to man and then shut the studio down when it bombed because ea screwed the uh, right. That I was kind of pissed about, but visceral. I don't. It's sad for the devs, but other than that, who the fuck cared? Right. But, but no, it's it makes sense. I mean, I did, I did read a bit more into it, and I saw like what they were planning on building, and one of the things that they were saying they're trying to shoot for more of like an Uncharted style of game, and they didn't want that. They wanted more of a Destiny style game, and that's one of the reasons they said they closed it down. But I think it was more towards you know long lines like oh you guys come up with shitty games for the most part they probably play tested it like wow you guys still suck at your job let's well, <laughs> you there, still suck there's it. a bit <laughs> like, there's a maybe big, that's not true you know i don't know <laughs> there's a big reason you want destiny style games it's so you can sell dlc or you could sell microtransactions you can do loot box mm-hmm. you can do keys you can do items you can do that kind of stuff where in an uncharted style game there is not that chance well there, right. I mean, well, there is but not to the degree until you release shadow of war where you have single player loot boxes that are available or <laughs> or uh you know uh mankind divided the new deus ex game where they also have to purchase single player shit okay. which is why i still have not and will not buy that game box square so, so once again though i think you're talking without really fully understanding it because shadow of war that's not an issue in shadow of war you mm-hmm. think it is i'm telling you being inside of it i haven't even seen it oh, no, no. for it I, Okay, that's that's all well and good. I'm just saying loot boxes and pay for content in single player game uh, is going to continue to grow and be a thing. Uh, specifically from EA, they've actually got an internal mandate, uh, and it can be summed up uh, with the headline "Games as a Service." That is their internal company mandate and a mandate to their sub companies. They're no longer building just games; they're building paid services, paid platform. That right. is what they need to be building. Uh, that's the the direction from the top down. Game sir, games as a service is great. I love games as a service. It can be. I love it games can as a be. service. It it pretty frequently is. Wow, is a game as a service? It yes, it is. It Rocket absolutely is. And I would service. I would argue that WoW was very well run. Yeah. I would argue Overwatch very well run. I would argue that PUBG kind of fucked people when they open up their loot boxes and made people pissed. Yes, but you're you're. There's the microtransactions, which I don't really put as as a service. As a service means it's a game that you don't retire, that you can continually iterate on by offering new content that you will sell God, to the user. A pretty good thing that they released a second Battlefront game instead of iterating on the first one with this game's service. I'm glad I only bought that game once. Well, they had to do that too. I, I, they, they could have iterated. They could have absolutely iterated. They could have added the shit they were missing. They could have overhauled the engine. You can't tell me they couldn't do that because Square did this with an MMO they, and it actually paid off. They did add to it. In all accounts, the game was a lot better at the end than what it was at the start. It's mm-hmm. just the player base was already gone. So, if if yeah, you at that in, point, in, it might have been at a, it Final Fantasy been a... 14, where your player base is 
absolutely gone, right? You can't recover. An MMO is only its player. They got it back. Square got it back because they put in a shit ton of effort and a shit ton of risk. And it's a great MMO right now. It makes them money. Um, yeah, you but I've done mean, the same thing with that game. If you are truly following games as a service, there's a lot more competition. Yeah, but the in same the thing, like you space. have. You, well, yeah. well, there's another thing though. Like, the EA's no, like they know business. They know what they're doing. You know, I, I think I think just hyping up a sequel is a lot easier. And oh yeah, like, absolutely. Uh, and, and, and then just rebuilding it from the ground up on the side like oh this game's fucking up let's just do it on the side they can they can spend the dev time to rebuild on the side and come at it at a different angle and push it as like hey here's a sequel here's all the things you wanted i know you wanted all these things and you wanted in the last game but they're in this game so buy this game so they can all they can get that initial purchase they could revamp the whole model to be more modern like as far as how they want their their overall transactions i would have i would have liked to see like kind of a because they Square did this for the original players Final Fantasy XIV when they had the uh, before our realm where they said, hey, you know, here's to all of the original owners of this game. Uh, we fucked up, right? Here's this bonus shit. Here's here's the game that we should have put out in the first place. EA could have said that they could have been on the player side, but let's be real. EA has never really been on the players. Well, you yeah. know who else did the same thing as Valve? Valve did the exact same thing with the they Left 4 Dead. They absolutely did. They like absolutely Left 4 Dead, did. Left 4 Dead was supposed. Left 4 Dead 2 was supposed to be all the expansions for Left 4 Dead 1. They just yeah. ended up saying like, "Oh shit! Like this is like a brand new game that we're building. Let's yep. just sell it as a brand new game." And they did. And they, they, they were. They, they, they also were absolutely for- crucified for it. And yes, I was I was one of the people that did that. And that's the big <laughs> difference I think between Battlefield 2, Battlefront 2 and Left 4 Dead. Left 4 Dead was the same battlefront one and two actually have a lot of differences in the way the game is. i mean but arguably ar- arguably like Dead this memorable zombie yeah they <laughs> added a lot of stuff in left for dead 2 that was that wasn't in left for dead one like left for dead 2 was a there was a lot there it, it was a secret well, one was a tech demo i'm, I'm not right, saying exactly. left 4 dead 2 didn't add things but what i'm saying is the underlying engine for, or not the engine but the underlying code base that they had for Battlefront One couldn't support with what they were doing with Battlefront. You you can you can bottom it out and replace. No, 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 it's no, no, it's no. been done before. It's expensive to do it, but you can do it. It's it Thank plays you. completely different, is what I'm telling you. Play, as of playing both, they don't play the same. The way the the way the weapons and vehicles are, Battlefield Two or Battlefront Two plays like Battlefront Two actually does. Battlefront One does not. It plays like a modern shooter, not Battlefront Two. I, I get that well, okay. you can fix it's easier not to it, it makes right. you more money not to. that's my point is yeah. you can make and that more was money. the right call I, that was the right call oh, for yeah that. as a big i think it was yeah. shitty to their players but it was the right decision absolutely yeah, i agree i agree 100 percent. but in the end like that's a, the shitty part about it as being like gamers it's like these guys are making calls like ea doesn't fuck around they're like they're the big boys for a reason, you know. They're yeah. like, oh yeah, I know how the formula works. They're gonna make a hit song, and this is how the song goes. It goes do 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 do, right? Yeah. And every single one of their songs is gonna sound the same. But they're, you know, they're not gonna take risks like an indie developer would do, or mm-hmm. random MMO would do, or a small studio would do. You know, they they like they kind of don't care because they already know how to make the hit song. You yep. know, they're just gonna do the four chords, and it's gonna come out great, and everyone's <laughs> gonna be happy. <laughs> Do you guys remember when EA was like all about their indie games? Like they were supporting supporting weird projects like Mid's Edge. That was, that was Edge a good was time. Cool. It really that was. That was a cool game. Yeah. yeah. I was really There's surprised still... the game was that much climbing and jumping and it was, it was a first lot of fun. person. A whole I remember lot of fun. the first per- the first time I was playing that game. <laughs> And I did like the jump off of something and then roll on the ground when you land. And the camera rolled too. And I was like, whoa. Yeah. It's it like was there. creepy as hell. That was such a cool game. And I tried to play it on Steam, I think like a month or two ago. But it kept crashing every time I tried to launch it. Oh, really? Like, man, I'd love to play Mirror's Edge again. On I hadn't played it on PC before. I had it on uh, PlayStation 3 a long time ago. Oh, sorry about that, fellas. I was, I was dying. Super good. Sound like you're that. still dying. You okay? You okay over there? <laughs> for uh, uh, for the one Tom's year. Tom's terrible take just it hooks me up when Tom's just that wrong. <laughs> 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 oh man. But anyway, we do have uh, a little bit more news. Uh, let's do some quick stuff. Uh, Nintendo had a big system update. 
Uh, most notably, the they now support 30 second video captures. Kind of cool. Yeah, yeah. It's, right. you can post it up on your Twitter. It's kind of neat feature. They've sold two million units. Fucking powerhouse of a console that people <laughs> like. Um, they now have support for a USB wireless USB headphone. Um, you plug a dongle into your dock. It, headphones. They're so close, Eric. They're so close. <laughs> well, they're so close. Except for their online platform still blows ball. Well, yeah, but they're so close. They almost have voice chat figured out. They almost. almost did it. Somebody hurry. Nintendo is is still stuck in the past. We have to send a time traveler from the year 2008 over to Nintendo headquarters to make sure they get voice chat correct. Make sure it's Microsoft because <laughs> no one's done it as good as them. I was I was just going to send the same guy who worked on SOCOM PS2. The send first SOCOM was great. It really was. That was kind of cool. I remember playing that online and just getting demolished by all the good players. Yeah. 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 I I did not have a stellar time with that game, but it was <laughs> fun because nothing else played like it. Yeah. On, on console, at least. Right. Um, they also so, yeah, Nintendo, Nintendo stuff. stuff. Uh, they also sold 2 million Switches. Nice. Which is, which is pretty cool. Which means they produced 2 million Switches in the time it's been released. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> at least. <laughs> yeah, yeah basically. basically. Out of a demand of 7 million Switches. You really don't listen to type, do you? What? <laughs> no. What did I do? What did you do? Repeated what I've already said. Oh, <laughs> did I? Okay. I didn't, I didn't hear you. We're professionals. They do this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, technically not. In all fairness, I, I was, we don't we're, get paid we're, to do this. Yeah. This is just for you. Yeah, we got a couple, oh, you guys we got a couple of subs. Oh, yeah, um, that's true. Okay, so we are professionals. There you we go. are absolutely <laughs> professionals. Okay, I'm not a professional. We may not have turned profit, but we're... <laughs> we're technically... We so far in the red. Yeah. <laughs> Silicon Valley is super excited, though. We've got a valuation of like $7 billion. Oh, easy. <laughs> Um, Sony was in the news also. Um, they're shrinking their controller, which I think feels weird. <laughs> Why would you do that? For kids. Um, because, yeah, they want kids to play PlayStation games. And what better way to do that than making a comfy controller for kids? Back in they my day, have we just controller. got it's used to the controller small. the way it was and played it how God right? intended. <laughs> See, these kids are so fucking spoiled. Have they, have they have their own little controllers, controllers made, made for, for their them. little dainty hands. Yeah, and you know what? You know what? They get achievement trophies. They get like fucking participation trophies on yeah. PS4 by just booting up the fucking yeah, game. Start the game. Hey, congratulations! You played. Good yeah. job. Yeah. Hold on. Did you put ten minutes in? Here's the platinum. We'll unlock Here you everything. Are. For fucking no kids. Here you go. What Damn even is this thing for? Like what? I don't know. There's got to be a real like a real reason they 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 took this route. It's wired. It's yep. small. It's probably I don't know. It's probably cheaper. It's a controller probably for does, kids. Yeah. Probably doesn't support six axis. Probably cheaper. Probably remove the touchpad and put a central button instead. It's it's yeah. probably just cheaper to produce. Probably gets rid of the share button, so you don't have kids sharing a bunch of stuff all the time. And no, the share button's there. I, I'm no. looking at it right now. I think I'm, I think it's just cheaper. I almost yeah. guarantee that's all it's for. Just cheaper give you a cheaper option. Thirty for thirty to hands. thirty to forty dollars or thirty dollars US. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I feel like cheap. it's and it's and it's wired too, which I also find weird. Yeah, that that, that part is just, weird. Yeah, it's because it's so cheaper. it makes they're me think. They're, they're, <laughs> yeah, I, I'll, I'll keep saying it till it hits but, in. They're just giving you a cheaper control. <laughs> this this I really mean, does seem cheaper. Yeah. I mean, I guess so. I I, I you said wonder it's if it's bucks. more for the PC portion. You know, there's a whole PC avenue that they're trying eh. to push lately. You know what I mean? Like, I, you can, I don't see that because you can hook up, uh, you know, a PS4 controller really easily to a PC. Yeah, that's the same right. way no, you do the Xbox. Yeah. Yeah. Along the yeah. same lines, you know, on the same lines, like maybe this is—I I don't know—it just doesn't make any sense besides it being cheaper it, and smaller. It doesn't make any little sense to hands. me. Their controllers yeah. are to be, to be fair, when we were kids, the controllers were a lot easier to. They were a lot more. Uh, available for a variety of hand sizes with a little tiny kid trying to play a PS4 with like the position so, of the triggers and the thumbsticks and stuff. Did you ever play a yeah. Bertha? No. Uh, or, oh what? my god, the Bertha. The, oh, the I, original I, Xbox controller? Yeah, yeah. I forgot <laughs> no, Bertha. No, at that point I, I hadn't had an Xbox. I thought it was called the Duke. I also wasn't, oh, yeah, officially. I also wasn't officially a little kid back yeah. then. Yeah. So. You had little bitch hands probably still back at that no. point. No. Oh, shit. <laughs> I was born with these hands. Those look like little bitch hands. <laughs> Look at these. These, these are, are manly programmers. I've, manly got, programmer I've got guitar hands. hands. <laughs> I got hands. 
You got, oh, basket, no, you you got, got the, basketball you hands. You got them fish fingers. <laughs> fish fingers. The, the fish fingers. fingers. What does yep. that even mean? That's your, that's your mafia you name. Finger. That's your fish mafia finger. name. Um, and then there's they one. They call me fish fingers. There's um, <laughs> one more one more piece of news. Uh, Pokemon um, Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon, it finally launched? No. No. What's, What's the news? <laughs> You, you didn't read the article, sir. No, I you didn't it. read the article at all. Okay. Damn. So Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon will be the last Pokemon RPG for the three. Yeah. Oh, I'm Okay. Yes. Yeah. So yeah, they're they're not out yet, but when they come out, this will be it. Uh Game Freak director um oh. said that they've reached the full extent of what could be achieved on the handheld console. So, yeah, um, if this isn't a sunsetting of the 3DS, I don't know what it is. Yeah, <laughs> really, the po- big yeah, Pokemon I mean, titles. Absolutely. <laughs> I mean, really, with the with the Switch being what it is, it, there's almost yeah. no point. A new Pokemon game 3DS. on Switch? You know how much that's going to sell? Uh, you know how many Switches three. that's probably going to sell? I'll tell you this right now. A new Pokemon on Switch will get households like this one hmm. getting two Switches. Oh yeah, I guarantee it. Oh, I yeah. will own oh, yeah. multiple mm-hmm. switches for for these games because guarantee there'll be too much content. Yep. <laughs> this, well, we all want to start play. fighting in my it. house when I was a kid. <laughs> well, I mean, I don't understand why they would never release like a full on 3D Pokemon game. They have like, well, I mean, I know, I know there's certain ones that have. What, what the one where but you they're take never pictures? quite there. They're never Pokemon. quite. Yeah. Pokemon Snap. Yeah, but that's not it. I mean, that's not really it. They, yeah. they had a, they had a big ass... GameCube? Yeah, Game yeah. of Darkness. Oh, oh really? No, 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 no. I thought you said Snap. About to get no, all sorts of that was oh. yeah. No, 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 no. So, uh, Pokemon XD, Gale of Darkness, was an actual full Pokemon game. Um, and there were... I, I want to say there were one or two in that series. Um, but yeah, there have been full-on console Pokemon games that weren't you know, side projects like Stadium. That stadium was right. kind of cool. But I mean, stadium it's still cool. the Pokemon not card quite. game with. Or not the. Was it the card game? Or was it uh, based no, on the no, actual... no. St- stadium was uh, Battle. Okay. And you could actually plug your game cartridge in and actually play your right. game through your door. Oh. Yeah. Which was kind of cool. Huh. It was novelty. Oh, I think yeah. they did that yeah. with uh, Super Nintendo. Oh, they had a dock for Game Boy games. Well, there was uh, console, yeah, right? yeah. The the Super Nintendo had um, the Super Game Boy. Hmm. Yeah, so you could you could play Game Boy games on your television, oh, and a few yeah. games actually had Super Game Boy features built in. Pokemon was one of them. We got a cool, colorful border. Um, Metroid Two uh, was actually built with a actual color palette for the Super Game Boy, I believe, if I'm rem- remembering correctly. Uh, Mario and Donkey Kong was built with a color palette for the Super Game Boy. Um, there was a lot of cool stuff that they did with. Well, with that, I think we're going to call that with the news. Uh, I do have a uh, question for you. Yeah. So, so we've been doing this a year, pretty much. Uh, Josh, probably what, like seven, eight months. But regardless, yeah, something like that. So the podcast got good about seven or eight months ago. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> That's when I really started picking up. Yeah. So, um, Pretty much, I'm gonna ask some of your each of you go around give top two played in this talked about. Not new. Oh, we're giving two. To be new. Two. Oh, fuck. So top two games top we discovered two. while doing well, the podcast. Yes. Like so, let's not even say discovered. Just your top two games that you have discussed on this podcast. Um, and let's also just leave it at two. That way we don't That's get the hard huge part, er, caveats. That's the hard part. It's the yeah. two. Narrowing Drop it down it to two. two. Let's go to one. Because <laughs> we're going to rant back and no, forth. No, I'm sticking like four or five. <laughs> what <are> we? Oh, <laughs> I can't narrow it down that far. Oh, man. So, one uh, of the best games I've played um, really ever. But we did, a, we did this a lot in the podcast. We actually did an episode where we primarily talked about this game. Um, the Witness. The, the puzzle adventure puzzle game. I exploration puzzle game, puzzle game uh, yeah, it's from puzzle Jonathan game. Blow <laughs> on this beautiful uh, graphic style on this island. The whole thing is super 
just really interesting. It's it difficult. It, without, without being realistic. It, I've never been so yeah, intrigued is. with line puzzles in my life. Right? And it looks like such a fucking boring it game boring, when, you're, and then you, when you look at it, it on the Steam page. And the way they teach you how everything works without words, no tutorials, no nothing. So good. Yeah, I've heard people say it. You're learning a language. It's yeah. beautiful. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. That is definitely it's, one of the highlights of the game played since we played this thing. That's probably my number one go-to example for a game that absolutely looks like shit in a trailer, but yeah. is an amazing game. Yeah. Because I'm surprised they sold any amount of copies. Because yeah. frankly, you shouldn't buy that game based on their trailer. You yeah. you absolutely shouldn't. It looks dull as fuck. But it was one of the most engaging games I've played all year. Yeah. What about you, Josh? Do you think you have a solid? Yeah, I have a, I have a solid, I have a solid one for sure. But a lot of, I mean, a lot of the ones that I had a hard time narrowing it down from were really just the the postcast games. Really, oh, that's yeah. what I had a hard time narrowing it down because if you had to say like anything that made it great to do this and, and to really make this unique and fun was was really the community that we've been we've been building up i mean everybody here watching the cast everyone that shows up at the postcast games the people we interact with from day to day that's what makes this amazing that's what makes this fun for me um so really like when we first were playing like like the jackbox games like as much as oh I, my god I, that first I night we like, played jackbox yeah right it was so good as much as i like jackbox and i played jackbox before it is yeah. not nearly as much fun as when we did it with the community we did haven't it with laughed that hard here. in a long time <laughs> it's so <laughs> it's so hard so like i if i had to choose something specific for this cast that i've been playing and enjoying it would have to be it would have to be something like jackbox like you yeah. couldn't you, there's no comparison for me as far as like how much i enjoy this 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 experience overall mm -hmm. it's just the community they really they really did it for me that's an excellent answer. What about yeah you? what about you tommy tom Tomskins? what games stood out to you that you've played so from the start of the pod just about um up until this very moment one game i've been consistently talking about and referring <laughs> much to the absolute hatred of some of the members of our community and and longest time fans i know i am talking doom, doom 2016. oh <laughs> see i didn't do threw it. me you for a loop you it. threw me for a loop well played. Well played, i was so. totally expecting right. the other thing because you had you had like a list of 10 commandments yep. that you've yep. learned from the other game that i won't say so uh i, I was talking about doom 2016 so much before it came out. So I, I saw the trailer. I was like, oh, glory kills are going to make this so slow. It doesn't look like Doom. There's a whole lot of bone in it. Uh -huh. I don't know what Bethesda is doing. Oh, fuck, it's Bethesda. This game is going to be buggy as shit. Fuck. They ruined Doom. And then I, I got it on sale. I played it. And holy shit, it is one of the best modern retro games I've ever played. <laughs> it is great. They did a whole lot to fix the multiplayer. It's not fantastic. It's not wonderful. Um, but goddamn, wasn't that great? Um, I, I will say, uh, Dark Souls 1, though, has got to be my top. Um, the closest thing to a... <laughs> okay, what? You guys are the worst in the world to what? sticking to a... One. Whenever, you said two. No, you no, said no, one just or said two. two. We, Josh just said about one, so we went one, one. Like the one word answer. This, you, that. You, you said walls. one or two. One or two. <laughs> I, I, thought you, I thought we were going okay. to. Well, two then. Go ahead, do it. Well, I, can't, I do want to do favorite think moments of the in the podcast, though, because oh. I'm going to piss you off a little bit. Oh, God. Um, um, I know what this is. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, anyway, Dark Souls 1 was the closest thing I've had to a religious experience while playing a video game. Um it totally changed the way I feel about RPGs and action games. I got it to avoid getting sucked into an RPG world because yeah. I was playing The Witcher at the time. Yeah. And instead, I totally fucking dropped The Witcher and went full Dark Souls for 80 hours. <laughs> to the and then went back to The Witcher for 10 hours. And then went back to Dark Souls for another 60 hours. Mm. And, and holy fuck, I'm going to go back again and play Dark Souls 1 again because it's so goddamn good. So, yeah. Those, do you, those are my do two. you remember Doom. those 10 commandments by chance? Um, I think... Some of them were 
Uh, rule, you know, rule one was like, fuck you. Yeah, yeah rule one was fuck you. Uh, rule two was you have died. Uh, rule three was uh, you are poisoned. Uh, rule four was you are naked. Uh, rule five was uh, you are in a swamp. Um, what rule six the, was the world doesn't owe you anything. Yeah. yeah, the world doesn't owe you anything. You don't matter. Yeah. Um, yeah, there was there was a lot. <laughs> um, goddamn Dark Souls. It was so fucking good. It's still so fucking good. And I, I am going to go back. I mean, it has, to, it has to be one of the games you pick for the list because it, it's a joke that we talk about that game so much. Yeah. So people, people absolutely hate how much Josh and I talk about Dark Souls, but it, it is so good. And if you haven't played it, you should. Hey, in all fairness, we're allowed to. We're doing a series, and the series is over. We'll stop talking about it, but they'll probably yeah, be a sequel, won't. so you're fucked, so whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Just go with it. It's a thing. We'll do a right? dual run of Bloodborne or something. <laughs> Josh yeah. and I don't owe you anything. We're going to yeah. talk about Dark Souls to the day we die. <laughs> we'll be like 90 years old. Dark right? Souls 12 came yeah. out. Yeah. Remember that time in Dark Souls. <laughs> Oh, it's going to be good. At some point, we might actually get good at that game. Shoot me now. (laughs) Oh, come on, Eric. You love it? Uh, (laughs) So, hey, Eric, what about you? Okay, thanks, guys. (laughs) We're getting there. We're just going to end the show. What are you doing? No. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, God, I hate you guys. Eric. What was that that commandment about the world not giving a fuck? Something like that. (laughs) (laughs) Eric, Eric, what? Eric, I have a question for you. you. Yeah. Yeah, what, what, what? what are you thinking? What? What's what's yeah. what's your answer to this so, topic question? Probably my second would have to overcooked. Overcooked shocked me. Overcooked. I was not expecting yeah. Overcooked to be what it was, be as good as it was, and to grab me like it did. Mm-hmm. I remember having four of us sitting around Tom's TV. We would play around, discover what it was. Stop for five minutes, strategize on how, who was going to do what station and what rotation and who was going to fill doing this and that. Break, do it for five rounds, figure out we're not quite getting three stars. Mm -hmm. Stop for another five minutes, talk about a new strategy, yell at Tom or me for being stupid as shit, and then we finally get it. But that game was so fun. Cooperatively, purely cooperatively. That game was great. The reason we got together that day was to go to an escape room, and we were late to that escape room because we were yep. playing Overcooked. <laughs> you, have a, you had a totally different experience with Overcooked. Than oh, I yeah. I mean, we did, we, did the, we did board game nights, and we did Overcooked, and it was cool like the first two, three times we did it. After that, people got really intense about it. People got really ragey about it. it stopped oh, we got intense. Fun. We got as intense as shit. But we didn't get mad at each other. Oh, yeah, it was, it was super intense. We were, yeah, like, no, intense is fine. Other, Focused angrily. is fine. In it's fine. But, like, actually audibly pissed at the other person. <laughs> <laughs> I, have, I actually have on my stream, I'll, I'll, I'll have to clip it and ship it somewhere. Mm-hmm. But there's, I, have a vid- I have a video when I first uh, was figured out streaming on the PlayStation of my friend breaking my controller playing Overcooked. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Wow. That's yeah. hardcore. Yeah, he was in it. <laughs> That's pretty intense. <laughs> yeah, so different experiences, but I still love that game. It's a great game. <laughs> so Adam, one yeah. more game. What you got? Oh, let's see. Witness was a big one. I don't know. I kind of figured you had one that we talked about earlier. I thought you was going to end up I shooing in regardless. Kind of leaning into Battlegrounds. Because that was a big thing for us. That was a game I didn't expect to buy and ended up buying. It was a toss up between that and like uh maybe Resident Evil Seven. That was a huge one for me. I love that game. It was one of the few games that takes more than like three hours to beat that I actually played all the way through and beat. <laughs> you know, it's easy to beat the little games like Inside and Little Nightmares. That was not a problem. But for to be to beat an actual full fledged, you know, triple a title that was that was a big one for me i still need to get it <laughs> um josh yeah you yeah hit me another one title, okay sir. so one more time i mean 
there's a lot of games that we play through. Most of them, we, we have a fairly consistent game that we all play that I won't go into. I feel like that's a bit of a of a cop out. Yeah. Um, I mean, it, since I, since I chose the one, I, I'd have to circle back on a, on another postcast game, um, just because again, those were our hands down the most fun. But um, I really liked when we played. Um, crap now i'm gonna forget what it, what it's called that really works out great <laughs> but it was really more of the experience than it was the game uh what was that uh class-based shooter that we all played i think i came in late to that but we all played oh. that class-based shooter oh dirty bomb dirty bomb. yeah dirty bomb. Dirty bomb. Dirty bomb. So I, so thought, good. I thought dirty bomb was cool the only reason i thought that was cool is because like we all went in blind everybody it was like a big community going in blind to a game that like we know sh- fuck all about right yeah. and it was really yeah. cool because we all got to hate it together we all got to like it together we all got to figure it out together mm-hmm. and it was crazy it was so crazy to get everyone like it's it's really really stupid to do <laughs> yeah <laughs> to say hey let's do a postcast game about a game we don't know anything about it's free yeah that's i mean it's free we've done a handful of those and a lot of them have not gone very well a few of them (laughs) have not gone very well super super ball ball. ball. and the world of tanks blitz (laughs) oh my god world of pay to win blitz yeah but the dirty bomb was a lot of fun in all fairness like i i like that i liked it i liked getting everyone together and it failing miserably yeah that's actually working out it's a really cool thing it's like i think we do post cast games really well in that yeah. regard because it's like we're bringing everyone into the world of just Something. being an average gamer like yep. g- being frustrated with an average like attempt you know <laughs> all of that and then the in the following cast blind. we have something to talk about negatively and <laughs> yeah and <laughs> shit on this game for a little know, while yeah, <laughs> yeah like even we're all there it's like so, super yeah, ball like, has become a joke now like oh yeah what do you guys want to play let's play super ball <laughs> i i even love like the super shitty games we play yeah. because now josh and i can talk about that time when i spent like 30 virtual dollars in world of tanks to <laughs> beat that one guy <laughs> where we all played so against the one guy and we couldn't beat him because he yeah. had a higher level tank we couldn't even hurt him like oh my oh god my it was god. so good that how the, the fact like when we tried to get everyone on the postcast into a single overwatch match and it was just fucking impossible yeah. <laughs> or that time we were trying to get everyone into battlefront 2 and Nurk was clicking the wrong oh my button. god <laughs> d-laz got we shitting all of the last got D-Laz mad and left because so he wasn't going to deal with this stupid yeah. matchmaking system and the whole time it was just Eric not doing it right yeah. so then we played no. flawlessly the rest of the night with no issues and meanwhile tom this is garbage this is garbage this game is garbage i can't believe this is garbage tom calm down this may not be the game this is garbage this is garbage this is me oh okay this game's not bad <laughs> you're garbage you're garbage i can't believe you're garbage it's so garbage you're so garbage, you're so garbage bobby <laughs> So I mean to round off all of this whole thing that you know this whole like what's good what's bad kind of mm-hmm. thing like it really comes down to me and I and I'm sure for you guys like to our community our ever growing community like you guys have been yeah. awesome and like we do this for you you know like we don't really we do this for ourselves cuz you know we're we're like that a little bit mm-hmm. but at the same time we do this for you guys we yeah, absolutely we, we want to build this community you. and and enjoy this enjoy like our experiences with games and how we feel Mm. like games are going and 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 we like to share that with you and i really really i really love this i really love where we're going i hope hopefully this grows and we do more stupid uh unnecessary uh things in games hopefully we get ignorant in a bunch more of like jackbox party game 10 (laughs) (laughs) with a little less of what happened at the very end of that because oh god as funny as that was that was yeah, oh, no. it, it digresses quickly. Yes. <laughs> good times but this anyway. year. Good, yeah, good times very good us. times. Thanks to everybody who helped us Agreed. do this thing. When we're streaming games and you guys are in chat talking, or you know, when even when we're casting, we interact in the chat, and that's fun. And <clears throat> anybody that joins our Discord and plays games with us, like that, that stuff makes it worth it to do all this because this is kind of a time sink. There's work that goes into it. But it's it's absolutely worth it, especially like even when we're not casting. Like I'll just sit in the Discord, even yeah. if I'm like working on shit. Yeah. I'll just hang out in the Discord and chill. Yeah, absolutely. And be like, 
sup, everybody? And like, that's that's the whole deal. Yeah. And so yeah, it's great. We're gonna keep this going. Hopefully, hit episode one hundred and four. Right. That that would be two <laughs> oh, full shit. years. Or is next year a leap year? Huh? What? We got to do what? something special special for the seventy episode seventy two. Yeah, yeah we do. Well, that's that's I'll, when we I'll end the out, podcast. I'll come out for seventy two. <laughs> yes. I'll I'll fly out for seventy two. So, we'll do. I do have. We'll a, fuck up the audio and everything. <laughs> yeah, no, it'll it'll be great. Great. Okay. All people. the room echo and yeah. For, for episode seventy two, I will then have a four interface. I will yes. upgrade my interface. I'll just bring mine next time. Yes, that. <laughs> there's there's one last thing I want to do for episode fifty two. Yeah. And, and I will, I will specify just one, and I'm going to give two answers again. Um, what is your favorite moment in the podcast? Josh, I'm going to throw it to you first. Favorite moment in the podcast? Yeah, like during the show. During the show. Oh, man. God, there's so many. I, I'd end up stealing one because I wasn't even there for it. Oh, yeah. It was, but I, I can't steal that one because I know it's one of your guys' so I. I can't. Just say it. That's the reason yeah, we're doing do this. Yeah. That's, okay. that's the best moment that's happened. All right. Well, so I wasn't there for this podcast. I came in at the end a little bit late. We might as well just Josh all like, say it's this Josh one. just oh, jumps oh, in our God. text chat and like, what happened? What's going oh, on? What the <laughs> this, hell? this was mine. Eric was this saying totally some very mine. hostile stuff to he, Tom for yes. a very legitimate reason. All Josh <laughs> sees you is I was it. flaming the shit out of Tom. Just, just <laughs> fuck you, Tom. You piece of shit. I fucking hate you. You should go to fucking hell tom oh he was he was not happy yeah so so the situation unless josh you want to tell it no you go man i i that's my part of it and i came in there i was like what the hell's going on then it was explained to me and it was very fun (laughs) okay so uh irk the whole time was like hey um i uh I, i gotta pee so so be you know be quick with the snooze and we had like maybe half of a headline left so instead of being really quick i decided to draw this fucking thing out like a a crazy long amount like what should have taken 30 seconds i drug out for 12 minutes while Irk was sitting there potty dancing in his chair (laughs) he just kept he just kept spamming discord chat just fuck you tom tom shut up tom please for the love of god i'm begging you i've never seen a grown adult that badly needing to pee like i'm I'm just sitting there like is he actually going to piss himself because this is i was worried like i was legitimately worried like is he gonna actually pee in his pants as an adult male it was this podcast it was super close because i had to pee from like the 30 minute mark god So that's that's it, part of the precast run book. Everybody go to the bathroom, get your drinks, meet your phones. Yeah. So that night I had had a couple drinks beforehand. Mm-hmm. So there's this beautiful thing called the seal and it had been broken. So that was painful. Oh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Tom, Tom did me in there. Yep. So um, it, was, yeah. it was just so funny to come back to. It was so like, cause everyone's friends, like <laughs> everyone's like pretty, you know, pretty close. Everyone's really easygoing. This is a right. very laid back situation yeah. for the most part. Uh, but it's just really funny to go like, what the fuck? Like, yeah. what was going on? <laughs> yeah, it was great. Er- Eric and Tom have this nice dynamic where they start yelling at each other. And it, and this is like, this happens a lot of casts. It's not like a one singular moment, but I always love the moments when when it's escalating and Tom is passionate about his opinion and Eric is passionate about his. And then me or Josh get to come in the middle with like some just stone cold reason <laughs> like just like like yeah. un, unemotional un- unemotional unemotional calculated unbiased yeah. <laughs> guys it's it's actually it's actually it just kind of depends on violet yeah. than a, a it's red or a blue yeah, yeah it's like <laughs> you know depending on what you're trying to get out of this situation yeah, it's fine for these people it's not that big of a deal it's, Tom's it's not fine for these so people wrong. <laughs> and Eric's always just so right i mean wrong I'm getting it right the first time. <laughs> but yeah, we can just say that we're both cut on uh, different ends of a spectrum. <laughs> For sure. Um, Irk, how about you? Or, or are you busy tech supporting? Okay. Uh, busy tech uh, so, supporting. <laughs> uh, I, think, I think my favorite was um, probably my rant on on piracy 
because I think I was at a completely, totally opposite spectrum than anyone else on the podcast. And I got called out by chat. I got called out by co-hosts. Um, I was lit up that podcast. Uh, and I think it was some of the most fun bait and yelling at each other we have had in, in a very, very long time. Yeah, your stance was kind of <laughs> Wow. That's okay. And I don't mean that as in like, oh, it didn't have basis, but like it was a bad person stance. Uh-huh. But uh, anyway, yeah, there was a lot of moments of us yelling. Yeah, it happens. Either way, there's a lot of good ones. I think for the most part, though, that's what we have for you this week. I will let some other guys get some of the postcast stuff ready to avoid an echo while I give you the rundown. I'll let Tom work with Adam on that. But for everyone else, thanks for watching in for our uh, one year finale. Um, if thanks you would... to the, let's thank the mods too. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Thanks to everybody thank that you, mods. mods our chat and keeps everybody happy and bans right. the people who are just trolling and all yeah. that good stuff. Yeah. yeah we, helping I, I us uh, with our big problems. Personal, big personal thank, thank, thank you to Dobby and AOL Instant Messenger for banning the fuck out of some people. Uh, you yeah. guys are bad and you are keeping the chat nice and clean and dobby thank you for timing dobby and aol instant messenger thank you for timing out proto tricks each and every podcast this is why we hire you and pay you ten thousand dollars per episode to do what you i know you guys don't do it for the money you do it for the love of timing out proto (laughs) yes honestly though thanks it's because there's sometimes nasty shit going chat that we can't wait Yes. But with that, thank you, everyone. For those of you watching us on Twitch, we have been uploading more stuff to YouTube. Um, it's kind of stalled out because I have a huge bottleneck in my situation, but I'm going to be fixing that. But we will have tons more. So you can always go to our YouTube channel at, at, or at 72 Pin Connector on YouTube. Um, if you're over there right now watching our, our Twitch stream, well, over there watching our podcast on YouTube, you can always come hang out with us live Saturday night, contrary to this podcast, every 9 p.m. Eastern, and come hang out and chat and be nice and friendly and interactive with us. If you'd like to know when we're going live and whatnot and some different topics we might be talking about, tell us about what you're hating on the cast, what you're liking on the cast, you can always follow us and tweet at us on Twitter at at 72 Podcast. We try to keep that up to date with some current news and some funny clips from the dreams lately and stuff so and tweet at us if you have any questions for us and you'd like for us to answer them on stream we can do so there's like a conversation topic or questions about what we're doing or who we are right. or, or any kind of technical stuff or you, you just want us to shout you out on the cast or whatever if you have any ideas or want to ask us anything feel free and we will absolutely address them we will do we shout outs shout out. yeah we'll yeah. do shout Maybe like especially out. especially technical stuff. Even I've if, seen if we get a lot of questions, we could have like a Q and A segment. Oh yeah, that would be great. Yeah. I actually did one of those on on a security podcast yeah. I run, and people fucking loved it. Some yeah. of those downloaded. That's good. It creates content. It creates discussion and yeah. stuff we might not think of. We so I love watching a whole lot of podcasts and YouTube videos, and I always want to know you know what's the process behind how it's created how do they do what they do? And we've had people ask, you know, about the overlay in particular. Yeah. Oh, what program are you guys using? Yeah. We're like, well, we kind of threw it together. Yeah. Um, so if you want to know how any of the shit's done, you know, tweet at us, email us, scream out in Twitch chat, get in our Discord. Discord's probably the best way. Uh, and we will be happy to share this stuff with you. Also, you can listen to us on the podcast. Oh, yeah. The nice, you know, given out yeah. podcast via Google Play, iTunes, Stitcher, Pocket Cast, any of those great things. It's on all the things. But if you would like to be a barbarian and get your RSS feed, some barbaric means that Tom likes, you can go to yeah. our website at www.72pinconnector.com. Um, we might be doing some upgrades to that at some point. Yes. Uh, no promise on to win, but hopefully. We um, right now. Make it look right pretty. Now. Right now. Yeah, right now. It's it. done. Go look at it. Oh, beautiful. Nice. Yeah. yeah. But with <laughs> that, that's all of that stuff. I think uh, we will have some shout outs for some stuff that happened during the cast. We do. Uh, so our followers, uh, 
Hanmi007 has followed Magic Dave 8 Thank you for following. Uh, thank you to me for subscribing again. Thanks, nice. Tom. Nice job, Tom. Uh, v Dobby again subscribing. Nice. Uh, and Sadmouth Piano, thank you very much for your subscription. No, sir. Thank you, Noodles. Noodle. Oh, thank right. you, Noodle. Noodle. You even said that in chat. And You're I, not Sadmouth yeah. Piano. You are a Noodle. And I happen to, to see in the chat. Double Digo cheered us 10 bits. He, he did. I saw oh, that. Oh, wow. That's that is, that. yeah. That's it's weird. our first cheer That's ever. the first time anybody's cheered us anything. That's so, so cool. Yeah. Let's raise a glass to Double Diego. Yes. 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 Yeah. Double Digo. Not Diego. Digo. Digo. Thank Double you, Digo. Digo. Our wonderful uh, Rocket League team yes. player. Yes. I always say Diego team. because of <laughs> Dora the Explorer. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's kind of a meme now to say his name wrong, so absolutely. Yeah, possible. Barbie. Go into his stream, uh, yeah. which we host. Oh wait, wait. <laughs> shout out. Noodle, noodle. We didn't shout out our Rocket League well. team. I didn't see Noodle's cheer. Thanks. To, oh, Noodle thank cheered. It's okay. We'll get us a bucket. Thanks up there for all the cheers. Up. We'll thank you individually once we Streamlabs gets its shit together and tells us what happened. Yes. Yeah. So, um, thanks for joining. Sorry. Next week it will not be so janky. Everything will be back to normal. We'll kick Adam out of Seattle. Yeah. And it'll all be good. <laughs> no. With that said, next week. See everyone. See